overall being here. What do you have to say? What did you learn? What did you get? How do you feel? Can I have those recipes? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I'll give them to you. So, that would be awesome. Yeah. It, it's an important part of, that, of your asking. So I really think of this as um, a practical lesson as well as great entertainment. I mean, so some of the practical things about making this transition in your lifestyle are, you know, the commitment to it and also the recipe. You know, the, the inspiration and the, the hands-on part, too. So, um, at the, at the spirit, you need the body, and the body needs the spirit kind of thing. So, um, one way of combining this film with a great event, which we've done, and we'd like to do again, is um, have some tastings all around going on, too. You know, so, um, you can digest the film, and then also digest something that's going to make that change in your life right now. And it does, it tastes shifts the appreciation for flavors, for savory things, you know, rather, you know, and sweet things are two different taste centers. And uh, the human body evolved to living on mostly savory things and then really appreciating when it did find a sweet thing. But um, now we have so much sweet thing that, uh, you know, we haven't evolved to, to moderate. Yes. I know it gave an epilogue on sort of person by person at the end. Mm -hmm. When did the filming actually take place? This was 2006. Oh wow! So has anything in now the intervening three plus years yeah. been done to see even beyond the epilogue what's Super happened? Super important question for the film and for the whole. Sure. Uh, I'm asking more from idle curiosity. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So um, important question for the whole mission of this too. Sure. So I mean, the mission is to to make a, a sea change and make this disease and other preventable diseases start to become just decrease in our lifetime and sooner in our lifetime. So what we can tell, I'm still in touch with four of the participants. Okay. Um, Kurt is still as um, healthy and eating well and still he's just graduating just about, or as in his, he's entering his fourth year now of medical school. Okay. So uh, naturopathic. So he's really on, he's healthy, no medication. On. You know, eating mostly or not like 80 90 percent raw music. Um, then there's uh, Bill, who um, for about six months was right on. Um, but think, you know, these things get a little bit. You start to forget and fade and go back to your your innate habits without the support around you. Right. So um, he did go back on medication. Okay. Um, got support again to go back on this diet. So he's finding the, the sort of the, the bounce back thing. Okay. He, he's kind of doing a few months this way and a few months that way. Um, Austin, with, with his addistic, uh, addistic, addictive tendencies to right. the alcohol and liver, um, a lot of emotions came up for him, obviously. So in his addictive tendencies, with more emotions up, which he wasn't used to handling sober, he got into harder drugs, as a matter of fact. But not for that long. He actually hit a bottom. Okay. And a year later, he was sober, and he, um, it's true, he's still making these smoothies and, and healthy things for, for his family. Okay. Um, and uh, he's on about a third of the insulin that he was. So he's not five, he's not down to five anymore, but he's a lot less than. And every time you lower the amount of insulin, even a type one diabetic takes, you really improve their lives and their, their lifespan and their overall quality. So that's a, that's a good thing. And then there's Michelle, who, um, you know, kind of a ham, loved, the, right. loved the, the, the camera on her. And she loved the camera on her so much, I'm not kidding. She actually has uh, other films contacted her. And we wanted you to try the diet we're making a little video about. So it was this and that, you know, this and Atkins and this thing. So she tried different diets in, a, in, a, in different films. She, she was as much into her improvement as she was into the attention. Okay. So she actually um, got spun around, got really confused. So two years later, she gets in touch with us again, so told us a story of what she'd done. And then she said, but I realize now what, what works for me can help me get back into this raw food thing again. And so she was back on medication and not doing so well. But it's a learning process. What we learn is, you know, and who is the we? It's everyone. It's the doctor and his outreach network. It's, it's me as a nutrition teacher, as a community organizer. It's everyone who's, this, this is kind of a movement that has centers all over the Bay Area, especially. It has pockets in Oakland and Berkeley and San Francisco and 
all the neighborhoods of people supporting health and nutrition. And the more support and continuous social, we're social beings, so social support, um, continuing to interact with each other is going to help this be sustainable for people. And that's what we'd like to do is continue to, I'd like to spend all my time going between showing this film as entertainment to new audiences and then holding groups where it's people going through the process. Now, I'm not a doctor, but they would have their doctor. Or they wouldn't need one because they weren't on medication ever. But whatever, I wouldn't be the doctor, but I would be, and other people who are, who are also inspired this way would be the kind of locus of the group to, to facilitate that guided transformation. Yeah? Is that something you're, that's already created or that you're thinking of doing? It's created in some ways. I mean, like in Oakland, we had a, a great showing, 140 people came, and uh, we had all these tastings. And now it was at a church, and that church, which is one of the many churches, is now having regular weekly gatherings to support people who are wanting to do this. Is there anything here in San Francisco yet? Well, actually, another minister who was at that church, the brother of, of that minister here in San Francisco, is going to be having a screen. We're, we're just setting it up. So I like to continuously do this in places like that. Community centers. Yeah. And, and, when, and when you know that one is going on, what will you do? Like, what are you thinking? Um, I already am bummed that I didn't have my friends here watching the video. I definitely have a few friends in mind that, um, I mean, I'm convinced. <laughs> I know I've heard of it a lot, I'm, I know it's good, but seeing, um, what I really liked about the video too is that it's very now, the whole reality, kind of watching people in their daily lives versus, I mean, it's a documentary, but in a more current way, and that really speaks to, to the new gen this generation. And, so that's a really great tactic, and I know a lot of my friends that are going to love this. So I'm already thinking, okay, do I get them to commit for 10 days or 30 days? Do I um, say, okay, I have something that you have to do, or should I, I think I should have them watch the video first. So I'm already strategizing. And I'm thinking if there's something that is either already in place here in the city, or maybe something that is about to be created, I'd love to help, because I know that that will make a big difference for people wanting to do this and have that support. Great. Do you do any? I know with having Alice Walker go from Berkeley, do you do anything to work with people like her or the woman I came up Roz that did the raw restaurant that was open in oh, yeah. Marin or Sonoma a few years ago? I can't think of her last name. Roxanne. What's it? Roxanne. Ro yes. Roxanne. Yeah. Um, to coordinate with people like that, A, and B, with the whole slow food movement, mm -hmm. did you, when they had the festival by City Hall, do you get any guidance, assistance, either from the city or in cooperation with the slow food movement as a whole? Yeah, I think it's uh, just about getting a connection, and getting a foot in the door, making the pitch, having the energy to commit to doing that and time to do that. So that all sounds like a good idea. Okay. Uh, I, I want to follow up with everyone you said. So, yeah. So we saw the film um, in the East Bay. And I was wondering if you were going to come back over to the East Bay. I work for a council member, and we received an email um, to come to it. So I came, and I, my mom came, and another friend of mine, and they're type 2 diabetics. Mm -hmm. But what I was thinking is, you know, if the elected officials actually see it, this is something that they could show in senior centers, especially in Oakland, because you have a large community that doesn't really have access to fresh food, but we're fighting to do that. So this is even something more encouraging to, you know, get us to that point. So you can leverage the fact that uh, raw food and fresh food actually help increase your health and it opens your mind to other ways besides using insulin or some of the other medications that don't really cure it, but just, you know, you just keep going and increasing. So I thought it was a wonderful film. It opened up my mind a lot. And hopefully if, you know, my boss, like he's he's a diabetic also, oh. and um, I want him to sit down and watch it, and we can you know gather our seniors because our senior centers are full during the day, and this is something that they could probably um, use. So thank you for bringing this, um, for even doing this piece. It's fabulous.